Okay, hi and welcome to my brief um, overview of the Kraken G12 water cooler shroud um, kit that I've fitted onto my MSI Gaming X RX 480. Um, I got this from Overclockers UK. It's a kit they put together themselves. Um, it can contains the NZXT Graken G12 cooling adapter, an Asatec 240-570XL AIO, and two fans. Um, it's a 240 by 30 millimeter radiator, and the coolant tubes are around 30 centimeters long. Um, I've fitted mine in my Antec GX1200 case um, and I've also got a vertical graphics card holder. Um, I'm not using the original fans, I'm using a Cooler Master Jetflow um, 120mm fans and push-pull configuration. To remove the standard air cooler all you do is remove these four screws and the air cooler will come off, the back plate can be left in place on the front, um, there are three plugs that we have to remove. There's a LED and a fan at the bottom right there, and at the top left there is another fan header that you have to remove. Um, the brackets fit into the, the front there, uh, just beside the, the GPU. Here we can see the brackets attached to the card. The cooler sits on top of the GPU and you screw the G12 bracket into the screws and that holds the pump in place. Here we can see the complete unit in my case. Um, the small fan is not PWM controlled um, but it's not particularly noisy at all. Um, and it keeps the VRM temperatures just slightly above the CPU temperatures. Um, previously with the Twin Frozer I was seeing temperatures of 72 degrees Celsius. Now um, they range between 40 and 50 depending on what exactly I'm doing with the card. Okay first up is Unigine Superposition where I'm comparing the best I could get on wet water with the best I could get on air with the current 580 Gaming X, Gaming X Plus and the 480 Gaming X um, all set at their standard overclock settings. As you can see the best on water at 1490 on the GPU and 2250 on the memory has the highest score um, Then there's not a huge amount of difference between best on air and the 580 Gaming X Plus the Gaming X is down again and then at the bottom is the 480 Gaming X. On to 3D Mark Firestrike the same um, results with the uh, 1490 to 20 um, giving me the best score with the 480 Gaming X being the lowest. On to Heaven Benchmark 4 again the same thing as we're seeing um, with the water overclock at 1490 being the best and the 480 Gaming X being the worst. On to real world situations, um, I use Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege Operation Blood Orchid. Um, I averaged three, um, three recordings of the frames per second um, to give me an average and a standard deviation with the error bars. As you can see, between the best and the worst, we've gained an extra 10 frames per second, which isn't actually much uh, when you compare the actual numbers. Uh, it's 138 up to 148, so it's around 7-7.5%. Seven, seven um, as you can see, the difference between the Gaming X and the best on air um, are very similar. Um, the standard deviation on best on air is greater than what it was for water. Um, for the Gaming X Plus, I'd expect them to, to be around the same. Um, but the 
difference is there. Um, we get better temperatures and a lot better noise, um, which is really why I did this conversion. Um, I certainly wouldn't recommend it for overclocking and you're not going to gain much at all. Um, but if you already happen to have a card and you want it being quieter, then the OCUK Tech Labs kit is only 100 quid. Works really well, easy to set up, and you get a bit more oomph out of your card. Um, the one thing I would say is I'm using a, a 580. Okay, now I should point out that I am using uh, an RX 580 BIOS that's been specifically designed for flashing a 480. Um, this was done by Helm on overclock.net. I'll put a link in the, the description for it. Um, it should also be noted that the power draw that you see on MSI Afterburner isn't correct. There's obviously a small increase because of the 25 millivolts extra over the 480 that you see, um, but there's a, a video that I'll put in the, the description by Buzzoid that shows you why there is no um, real measurement data for the, the power draw. Um, overall, I'm very happy with this conversion and I totally recommend it if you've already got a, a card and you want it to be a bit quieter.